You've been great about this. Oh, can I take that the wrong way? It is just really inconsiderate to drink coffee in front of me. You know, I can't drink coffee for another four months, and I really like coffee. I mean, I normally have probably like two cups of coffee every day. All right. I'll give up coffee until the baby's born. Gee, thanks. You can pay me back. How? Tell me why you're so anxious. No, George is not on the schedule today. Uh, are you sure? Because, I mean, sometimes she comes in on days that she's not scheduled to help out. Sorry. Okay. Well, um, if you, if you see her, could you tell her that Dylan is looking for her? It's really impotent. Im it's important. It's... Oh, my God. You walk quietly. Yeah, I've even been known to carry a big stick. Never mind. I'm really glad I found you. You're looking for me, specifically? Yeah. You see, this package came delivered to L&B, so naturally I signed for it. And you can imagine my surprise when I realized what I'd signed for. A drug to correct erectile dysfunction. So what, you're not going to stop? Hey, I didn't, didn't see you. Okay, well, as long as you're not trying to avoid me. Why would I do that? Well, I told you that I wanted a chance to be with you, and I thought maybe that might make you feel uncomfortable. Maybe a little. You know that wasn't my intention. The last thing I want to do is scare you away. Just losing our friendship on top of everything else that's happened would send me screaming right over the edge. Right. And I, I don't want to send you any mixed signals. Okay. Signals? <laughs> There's no signals one way or the other. It's this. You know what? It's. It's a perfect day. How about a little, uh, no pressure, but a little Chuck and Bob's homemade ice cream? Listen, let's let, uh, let's let fate decide. Heads, I see a devil scoop of cherry mocha chunk in your future, all right? Mm -hmm. Deal? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Edward, look at you. You're not even dressed. I thought you were so gung-ho about, about ousting Tracy from ELQ, you couldn't wait till later on to see me. My wife is dead. around in your room. You lie down for a few minutes, you get up, you start walking around again. Yeah, well, I'm sorry if I kept you awake. You're acting like you're afraid. I'm a convicted murderer. I think it's allowed, and I've Jason. I've told you so many times that there's a way to get the murder conviction set aside. And we're doing everything we can to make sure that you don't go to prison, but you have to cooperate, Sam. Tell me who it's you're nothing, protecting. It's nothing that can hurt you, It's something Jason. that can hurt you and the baby because you're supposed to be resting, not stressing out all night, walking around the room. Fine, I'll take a nap. Will that make you happy? Sam, whatever you've done, I've probably seen worse. And if you're going to trust me to help raise your daughter, why can't you trust me with this? Thank you. So, anyway, I thought to myself, this can't be right. You know, what would a strong, young buck like Dylan want with pharmaceutical support for his love life? It's got to be a mistake, right? A mix-up? You got some old man's medication instead of your vitamins? Or not. Okay. Are you covering for somebody? Your brother. That's it. Ned. He was too embarrassed to get the pills delivered to his house, so he had them sent to LMB in your name. Yeah? Oh, how sad. 
How sad. I never thought I'd see the day where my Eddie would need help raising his flagpole no, for they're love. Not, they're not Ned's. No. Okay? Are you sure? Okay, well, it's very strong medication. And it can be potentially dangerous if it's taken the wrong way. And I would be a very irresponsible adult if I left it sitting in the hands of the wrong person. Right, okay, you know, all right, you know what? You know what? I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say this, but you know whose they are? Alan's. Thank you. No, 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 no. Stop. Changing Dr. Quartermain. Please come to the second floor nurse's station. Your delivery is here. You look fine. It's not good enough. Look fine is not... It, it's not going to inspire Dylan. It's not going to make him dizzy with desire. Georgie, if Dylan has a performance problem, it doesn't mean that it's your fault. Of course it is. Look at me. Like, I am every guy's little sister, their pal, their homework buddy. I'm tired of being the girl that is okay to take home to mama. I want mothers everywhere to see me walking down the street and see trouble coming. So what? What, you're just gonna go change your look? Yes. I'm talking extreme maker, but this time I want to do it right, not the... I want the whole goth thing last time it didn't work out. <laughs> Wait, hold on, you goth... What? Georgie, what are you thinking? Look, I'm... I wanted to come off mysterious, and hey, it worked. I mean, that was a mystery no one wanted to solve. You know, this time I want to go straight for hot, sexy. You know, like Sage. Georgie, someone loves you, okay? Not Sage. You can't even stand her. Why would you want to go make yourself a carbon copy of that? Seriously. Look, the problem between you and Dylan is not that you're not sexy. It's that you're concentrating on sex too much. Hold on just a second. Alan B. Music. Hey, Alice. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's in the booth. Hold on. Hey, Dad? Dad? He's not answering right now. Can I take a message? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell him. Thanks. Are you okay? Um, I, I need to go find my dad. Hey, Brooke. I heard you yell out my name. Yeah. What's up? Um, I, I just got a call in. What's wrong? Alice just called. Look, I'm really sorry, Dad, but, um, Carmelita, she, she passed away. Boy, you don't waste any time, do you, brother? Yeah, what's that supposed to mean? Just moving right in on Emily, aren't you? You know what? What difference does it make to you? There's nothing going on. Lucky and I are friends, just like always. <sighs> Excuse me. Let me tell you something. You made it perfectly clear you want nothing to do with me or Emily, all right? That means whatever you have to say means nothing. Did you tell Emily that you offered to take Leave it alone, hands, Nicholas, all right? You've heard her enough. I'm going to hear from my wife. Oh, you two never learn. There you sit, heads together, thinking you can make an end run around me. Why do you keep underestimating me? Don't you realize it's such a big mistake? I'm going to have the two of you for lunch. What is it? What happened? Brace yourself, Tracy. Whatever it is, it's not going to work. I called my attorneys. 
I called my attorneys and we made an appointment to, uh, to put an end to this little power play. So don't think you can stall me, don't! Lila died in her sleep last night, Tracy. go through with the chemo. It's the best way to fight the cancer, but my mother died of cancer, and, and I could be dying too, grandmother. Emily, you are going to live. You have to believe that and choose to fight with your life. All right, Jason, I have to find this. Oh, I'll take you. Okay. Emily. Sorry for your loss. Thank you. So, um, I'm gonna go back to the house now. Do you want me to go with you? Of course I do. But I, uh, I, I first need to go back and make sure that grandfather's coping okay, and, and I need you to do me a favor. Anything, Dad? Your mother's gonna be back here any minute. And, uh, she had a wonderful relationship with your great grandmother so i need you to tell her yeah and then come over to the house i'll consider it done okay dad okay. I'm sorry Like you to me, Brooke Lynn Ashton, oh, your Lynn. great granddaughter. Lynn, she's beautiful. She loved you, princess. She loved you. So do I. You're mistaken. I wasn't expecting a delivery. Alan, you know, you don't need to be embarrassed. These things happen to men at a certain age. A certain age. Yeah, nothing wrong with going for a little kickstart. Certainly better than the alternative, right? It is so interesting having you back, Lois. I'd forgotten that I don't understand half the things that you say. I'm sorry, Dr. Q. Just having a little fun at your expense. Here's your medicine. My what? Medicine. But I have to admit, I'm a little surprised. I mean, you're a physician, Alan. You deal with people's physical problems every day, so why you'd be so embarrassed over a little sexual dysfunction that you'd send the pills through your nephew? Okay, Dylan, I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dylan, me too. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, Alan, we have to talk. Uh, can I wait? I'm about to hear something no. really fascinating. No, it, it can't. Uh, could we like, go to the chapel? What is it? Is it Jason? Talk to me. We're all family. It's Lila. She's gone. He's innocent. He needs you to protect him, even when he makes mistakes. Right, and this baby is innocent, too. She needs to count on you and respect you. I mean, she can't carry what happened to your mother, and she sure as hell can't grow up knowing her own mother's in prison. Well, you said you'd make sure I stayed free, well, right? Well, I, I can't make a crime go away until I know what actually happened, and you haven't told me yet. Yes, I did. All of it? Okay. Jason, are you there? Hey, Sam. Um, I probably shouldn't have shown up here. I, I don't think anyone followed no, no, me. No, it's okay. Just tell me. What? I didn't want to call you. Um, 
That's how I heard her for the phone. Um, grandmother's dead. She passed away last night in her sleep. She loved your daughter. Even at your most exasperating. <laughs> I know, Daddy. I counted on it. I thought I'd walk in that door with my baby in my arms, and now I don't know if he's going to survive, Mother. Oh, Tracy, dear. I... He's a quartermain. And you know as well as I do, quartermains are fighters. It means so much to me. I don't know what I'll do if he doesn't make it. <laughs> Darling. She always saw the good in both of us, Daddy. She was the reason. But the good was there to see. Daddy, when she'd take my hand, look into her eyes. You know what I saw? I saw hope. Hope is what I saw. Where am I going to find the hope, Daddy? I don't know, Tracy. <laughs> I just don't know. My name, my name is fine. I wanted to ask you, and I don't want you to feel any pressure. The answer is no. I don't remember who I used to be. Okay. Okay. That, that's okay because things take time. I'm gonna let you. Emily and Lucky were just here. Emily got some bad news, and it just occurred to me that you might want to know as well. You should drink some tea in the pail. You're right. I never drank tea before I came to live with the quartermains. <laughs> My birth mom drank coffee in the morning and soda and lemonade when it got hot. And I started drinking tea with grandmother. In her sitting room in the afternoons. Like that. Yeah, after, you know, I left the house, I had that job on the pier, and you tracked me down. Mm-hmm. You wanted my permission to, to tell Grandmother I was alive and not eating out of garbage cans. <laughs> Grandfather was so mad at you. <laughs> You'd go on and on about how you were a disgrace and a couple of weeks of sleeping in doorways would teach you some respect. Yeah. And grandmother didn't want to hear it. She'd say, Edward, that will be quite enough. And he'd shut right up. <laughs> I remember I was so furious at him and she said that it was his way of showing that he loved you. She was always good at that. Knowing what people meant instead of what they said. Yeah, I could talk to her about anything. We just sit there in the afternoons and so, and I felt so lucky because she was, she was the kind of grandmother that you dream of having. You know, one who needle points and serves you tea and has the time to listen. She was lucky to have you, too. I mean, all those days after school. You know, you could have been doing anything else, and you took the time to be with her. I didn't do anything great. Yeah, you did. You gave her what I didn't. You gave her your time.
should have something to drink. No, baby. But thanks. Okay. Do you want to sit down? Will you sit with me? Yeah. I should have known better. I guess some lessons take longer to learn than others. What lessons? Never to take one another for granted. Or assume a person's always going to be there, which is what I did with Lila. Look, I'm sure that she understood how much you cared about her. You've heard the story of how I met your father about a thousand times, right? <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, my. When I met Ned, it was as Eddie Main, or so I thought. <laughs> a pharmaceutical salesman who I transformed into a rock and roller in leather pants. But when his double life came out, I'm not sure who was more shocked, me or the quartermains, especially Edward. Edward. Poor Edward. He is going to be so lost. Anyway, they hated Ned's music. <laughs> And they hated the fact that he wasn't going to be that career guy that they'd mapped out for him his whole, whole life since he was born. And they really hated the Brooklyn girl and the micro minis and the weird nails who encouraged <laughs> him away. But that's why your dad and I broke up. Because there was no way that I was going to let my precious baby be raised among that nest of controlling vultures. Lila understood that. She just did. She got it, you know? She liked people. She accepted everybody for who they were. And she thought that being different was to be celebrated, not looked down on. She was the most generous and amazing woman that I have ever met. And now she's gone. Mother, mother, come here. Mother. Just come here. Come here. <clears throat> Sweetheart, there's a lot to do. No, please, just stop. Moment. Just stop. Stop. I'm right here. Just stop. Oh, oh, oh God. God. I'm so, so sorry. It's so good to see you. I'm glad you're here. Okay. I'm glad you're here too, much. Okay. I'll have to be, won't I? We'll all... We'll all have to be okay without her. Well, at least... At least she didn't suffer. You know, there's something wonderful about just... passing in your sleep. It's like... Well, it's like the angels just came and... and got her. Do you know that she was... thinking about you up until the very end? I mean, just yesterday, she was talking to Cook about your anniversary. She wanted to have a celebration dinner. Trying to the things you still have. After all, you've been through. supposed to marry Ned at one time and um, I bolted at the chapel I ran in my big poofy gown out the door running for my life and left Ned standing there humiliated and angry and hurt Lila who adored Ned I'm quite certain was furious with me but that woman was so filled with grace that she forgave me anyway more than once. How's Emily? Devastated. It's hard.
hard to see her hurt like that. I was so blessed to know Lila. To be able to spend all of that time with her and reliving her memories and hearing her stories and basking in her glow. Learn from my mistakes, Felicia. Hold on to all the mementos of your own past. They're more precious than you realize. I'll take that to heart. I'm learning a lot from writing your memoirs. I was in such awe of Lila, not just because of all the things that she accomplished, but because of, well, she was actually something to aspire to, you know? The way she lived her life with grace and with style. She was also had a very wicked sense of humor. And it was always, always on her terms. <laughs> mm. You know, I didn't keep my word. I promised Lila that I would never keep you away from her, and I did. She wanted to know you, but I was too stubborn and selfish to let that happen. Look, you thought you were doing what was right, all right? You were just trying to protect me, Ma. From Lila? What was I thinking? I deprived you both of so much. You know, I wouldn't blame you if you hated the sight of me right now. You know what? I have hated you so many times, Mom, but this, this is not one of them. You are being way too kind. The fact is, you should have known your great-grandma, and she should have known you. And now the time has run out, and we'll never get it back. Oh, I'm such a fool. <laughs> Thank you for finding him, Emily. Jason needed to come. I, uh, I can't. I can't stay. It's okay. It's okay. You just being here makes all the difference to Edward. It means everything to us, Jason. Thank you. sitting here as a family, enjoying each other, telling stories about her. Lila was a big believer in family. Mm -hmm. Which is amazing, considering the sorry lot she ended up with. <laughs> Stop <laughs> well, it! Well, Felicia, it's true. I mean, they're all a bunch of cheating, scamming backbiters. Wait a minute, with one notable exception. Yeah, and Emily is pretty cool, too. She's young yet. Give her time. <laughs> well, I think that Lila knew that her family wasn't perfect, but she still loved them very much, and she was there for them which is what I want for you. I want to be there for you the way she was there for her family. That's what I take from knowing Lila Quartermain. I think she'd be pleased. I love you all very much. I love you too, Mom. Oh. <laughs> well, at least you had the decency not to get shot to death sentenced to life in prison while your grandmother was still here. She thought the world of you. I'm grateful for that. Your grandmother was the only reason you gave this family the time of day. And for that, I'm grateful. My dad used to call Lila an honorary Spencer. <laughs> Luke was shameless in the way he flirted with her. And grandmother flirted right back. Yeah. You she drove did. grandfather crazy. My mother, she loved her too. Yeah, if she could be here. Yeah, I know. Thank you for being here. I wouldn't be any place else. Hey, I'm so sorry. What a terrible loss. 
She loves you both very much. She wanted what was best for you. You know, I always thought you were her favorite. Have you had anything to eat? I'm not hungry. Let me know if I can get you anything, and I mean it, anything at all. Well, would you look at this charming tableau? All of us gathered here together, just like a real family. And all it took was my mother's death. What's the significance? Yeah. Why strawberry? Not that I'm complaining here. <laughs> it's very simple. It was Lila's favorite ice cream. To Lila, one of the greatest ladies ever. To Lila. <laughs> <laughs> She was just very glad to see me when I showed up. You know, I, I brought her peppermint candy once. Now, that is something I can't picture. You actually going to the store and buying peppermint candy. I, I stole it. <laughs> okay, I, I, that? Yeah, I, I can picture that. Yeah. I, uh, I had this job on the pier, and uh, a crate fell, busted open, and there were all these boxes of candy. It fell out, so, you know, the foreman had me repack the crate, but I kept some of the candy. And the next day, Emily came to see me, and she just... I said that grandmother had missed me so much and that she'd been sick, so I went to visit her. And we sat in the kitchen eating a lot of peppermint candy. <laughs> she asked me how I was living. I told her about my job, how I changed my, my last name to Morgan. She really liked that. Her her maiden name was Morgan. And she told me about her brother who died in World War II. And you know, I remember her voice got so sad. And I realized how much she missed him, even though he'd been dead for years. She told me that's how. That's how it is with love. She said the heart had a long memory. Would it be okay with you if we named the baby Lila? tantrum you're about to throw really necessary? Or appropriate. Appropriate? The hell with appropriate. Don't you realize that's what's wrong with this picture? 
This is not a fair representation of what this family really is, which is far from appropriate. I deeply resent the hypocrisy that's on display in my dead mother's name. Tracy, knock it off. Oh, my God. You stay out of it, you little gutter snipe. Why the hell are you here anyway? Tracy! Listen to me. This is your pain. It's not your anger. Please, please don't attack the family. Not today, please. I... I know. I just... I know, I know, I know. I, I know. just... I know. want my mommy! I know, I know. I want my mommy! She's always there when you need her. Her love is unaltered no matter what you do. But imagine if we replaced her with another mother? She's such a stupid moron! Home life will never be the same. This will be a rude awakening for him. <laughs> wow! Wife Swap, coming this fall to CTV. Okay? The Benefactor, coming this fall to CTV. That's a good fun. <laughs> On the next General Hospital. Oh my God, Alexis. I would think that you would want to take some time off so that Christina could be with her family. I loved Lila. You were inconsequential to my mother. Do what Lila would have wanted. I'll need your help. Lila is in heaven now, and she needs a favor from you.